Last time we talked about how we forced our employees to enable their multi-factor authentication. And also we have mentioned that you will face a problem with AWS CLI. Today I'm gonna talk about what is the problem and how can we use AWS CLI with forced MFA and at the end of this video I will tell you how have we automated it. My name is Zidan and this is Daily Time. So what is the problem? The problem is you are not able to use the normal credentials. You will have to generate a temporary credentials if you want to use AWS CLI. And this temporary credential will not stay for a long time. Let me show you what do I mean. I logged into AWS console. Now I will go to my security credential and I will create new access key. Create access key. And this is my normal credential. Now let's try it out and see if it does work or not. I opened my terminal and now let's try to configure our AWS with the normal credentials. I will type AWS configure and it will ask me about AWS access key ID, AWS secret key and default region and default output. I already bought my normal credential. Now I will try to, for example, log into ACR. I have full access to ACR. So I will type AWS ACR get login. No include email and as expected it will not work. How can we use AWS CLI with forced MFA though if the normal credentials don't work? The answer for that is simple. We need to get our temporary credentials using Get Session Token API, which you take as a parameter session duration maximum 36 hours serial number and that is your MFA device serial number and token code which is the six digits from your application for my case it's from Google Authenticator and the command line will be like the following AWS SDS get session token and you set session duration serial number token code the output for that will be your temporary credentials access key ID, secret access key, session token, as well as expiration date. And to use that, you need to export them in your current terminal session. Export AWS access key ID, export AWS secret access key, export AWS session token. Let me show you how to use them. In my terminal, I will call get session token API like the following AWS STS get session token I will put duration in second I will put my serial number and for the token code I have to take it from my Google Authenticator so I will put it let me find it okay 314556 I expect to see my temporary credentials and it's here now we need to export that. Let me export them. I will export AWS access key ID. And I will take it copy. Export AWS secret access key. And I will take it copy from here. And export AWS session token take that copy now let's log into ACR again AWS ACR get login no include email and I will put the region region a b south east one 
as expected. Now it gives me the code to login. So if I put that here, it would say login succeed as expected. But as a developer, I don't need to do these steps over and over again. I just need something easy. This is hustle for me. So what we did, we automated that. Let me show you how we did it. What I did, I wrote a script to automate all these steps. So all what you need to do is to download or clone this script. So I already downloaded it. So what you need to do is to just run it. AWS MFA.sh and that's all. It will ask me only about the six digits. I will put them 822930 and everything will be fine. Now if I want to log into ACR, I will type this command AWS ACR get login low to load email I'll give it a region A B South East one minus my profile MFA the temporary credential is under MFA profile. Now we got the code and we can run it and it's supposed to say login succeed. Let's run it. Login succeed. Now everything is automated. And if you want to run the code again, AWS MFA dot sh it will check the expiration date and if it's not expired yet it will not do anything i hope that can help you and if you like this video please share it with your friends because i think they will like it too see you in the next task